In this module of the NPSP videos, we look at managing payments for donations in NPSP3. When a donation reaches the posted stage, a payment record is automatically created. The, some of the fields of the donation are copied to the payment record. For example, the amount field is copied to the payment amount. The close date field is copied to the payment date and the opportunity name is copied to the opportunity field of the payment record. The payment record also has a set of buttons available for us. These can be, uh, let's say, uh, for an opportunity, we want to add an additional payment for, for a donation. This can be done through the new payment button. If, if the household wants to make a regularly scheduled payment, for example, every month they want to pay, uh, make a payment of $500, we can schedule a payment through the payment record. If for some reasons the household decides not to make the donation, we have the option of cancelling payment by clicking on the write off payment button. Let's take a look at a demo for all these features. Let's go to our standard uh, contact Jamie Smith, which is associated with the Smith household. And let's go to the section of donations and click on another donation for Jamie. We want to choose a donation. It's uh, as the record type. The, the donation name, the account name get filled in automatically. We have set the stage to posted, which means that the probably percentage gets set to 100. Now let's go to the payment and uh, the, the amount for this was okay we, we need to enter the amount for the donation let's do that let's enter an amount of five thousand dollars Okay, now let's schedule a payment. Let's make a payment of $1,000. Mark this as paid. Set up today as the payment date. And we select the payment mode. Okay, we can go back to the donation now. Now let's uh, let's try the write off payment. Let's say for the the household says that they will make the next payment next month. So we choose a date of So so we create a second payment of $1000 by Jamie Smith for the same donation. However, for some reasons, the, cust the household decides that they are not able to make this payment. Then we can go to the payment and then we can uh, write off this payment. So it confirms that uh, the total amount for, for the opportunity was $5,000 and $1,000 has been paid already. The remaining $4,000 will not get paid. So we can click on this button, write off payments, and then the, all the remaining uh, donation will be written off. As an alternative, 
let's try to schedule payments for the remaining four thousand dollars so we can say that the the household will be making four payments and they will make the first payment on a month from now and they will be uh, there will be an interval of two months and they'll be making payment via cash now when we click on the calculate payments button it automatically creates a payment schedule it calculates that the month monthly payment comes out to be thousand dollars and it calculates the dates we can choose the interval as a week month or year so notice that the, this is not yet paid as we receive payment on these scheduled dates we can update the payment date and paid field so we'll cl create click on the create payment button this creates the four new payment records these are all not yet paid and uh, as we get get the payments we can click on the edit link let's say we are in feb and the, the household has now made the payment we'll mark this as paid and we can give the payment date and save the record so now we can see that the second payment has been made in the next video we look at recurring donations.